Good morning. I'm Jim Litter. I'm Chief Medical Officer here at Berkshire Medical Center. And with me this morning is Dr. Lauren Slater. She is the Department Chair of Obstetrics and Gynecology here at Berkshire Medical Center. We wanted to share with you some new information just released from the CDC on vaccination with COVID and women, women's health, pregnancy, and the risk of fertility. We'll try and cover all those topics this morning. Before we talk about vaccination, I think it's important to understand that COVID infection itself can cause damage to many different tissues. We know that it attacks the respiratory tract and can leave people with chronic respiratory problems. We know that it can infect the GI tract and leave people with chronic gastrointestinal problems. It also attacks the neurologic system, the brain, and we know that it even attacks the reproductive systems of both men and women. So you need to understand if you're making a decision about vaccination that the long-term consequences of COVID seem to be far more significant than anything related to vaccination. Vaccination thus far, we've given almost 200 million doses here in the United States and have a very aggressive tracking system to understand complications that may occur. And so the data thus far says that it's a very safe and very effective vaccine. But there are questions that women have had very specific to pregnancy and fertility. So Dr. Slater today will try and address some of that. So Dr. Slater, I know that the American College of Gynecolo Obstetrics and Gynecology just released a statement. Can you share with us what that's about? Yeah, so the um, American uh, Congress of Obstetrics and Gynecology is recommending that all women, inc including pregnant women, receive the uh, COVID vaccination, um, as well as the CDC has released their recommendations for women in pregnancy to um, receive COVID vaccinations. I did also want to add, um, when you're talking about how COVID affects all tissues, it actually affects um, fetal tissue as well as placental tissue. So uh, pregnancies are affected by COVID and can result women who have had COVID are at an increased risk for stillbirth during pregnancy, preeclampsia during pregnancy, uh, blood clots during pregnancy. Pregnant women are also at increased risk when they receive COVID to be sicker than women of their same age. Um, and they require more ICU admissions and have more long-term complications from COVID um, if they get COVID while they are pregnant. So it's really not safe to have a COVID infection while you're pregnant. It is definitely not safe to have a COVID infection while, while you are pregnant. Um, the women that we have seen who have COVID during pregnancy are much, much sicker. Um, and this can all be avoided by receiving the COVID vaccination. COVID vaccination is recommended while pregnant, while trying to achieve pregnancy, or just for the general population of reproductive women. And you and I were discussing earlier, you said that there are 5,000 women who have been studied while pregnant and their outcomes are the same as if they were unvaccinated. Right, so the, um, they've been, they, They've been very um, diligent in doing research on pregnant women who have been receiving the vaccination. Many of these are, um, have been on the front line. These are physicians and nurses who are pregnant and receiving vaccinations. Um, and there's been the 5,000 cases, and I looked through the data actually last night, and they looked at um, pregnancy outcomes as far as making sure they went to full term, um, preeclampsia, gestational diabetes, congenital anomalies like birth defects, um, and all of the rates were the same between women who had been vaccinated for COVID as well as the general population. It is true that we don't have a lot of information on fertility itself. We do know that the COVID virus can attack the male and female respiratory tract or respiratory systems and actually cause infertility by itself but we don't know a lot about vaccine. Um, how, how, should, how should women understand COVID vaccination and fertility? 
Yeah, so there, there are some retrospectively looking back at women who have received the COVID vaccine, uh, as well as looking at sort of the science of it and the animal studies. And there has been no scientific evidence up to this point of any issues with women and their fertility. Okay. And I know, I know the same studies are being done for men. So in, in some, you know, to some degree, we have to wait for more information to be released. But as you say, everything we know so far is that it is safe and there is no published studies that show harm um, or damage to a woman's reproductive fertility um, by taking the vaccination. That is correct. There is no scientific evidence at, at this point that there's any issues with female fertility in the COVID-19 vaccination. Have you seen anything that uh, addresses long-term vaccine effects on women? Have you seen any studies that, that suggest that there are things that men or women really need to be, be concerned with on long-term effects of vaccination? I have not seen any studies that show any long-term long -term deterrence from people um, getting the COVID-19 um, vaccine. There are some sort of immediate you know, reactions as your immune system is building antibodies to this virus, maybe like headaches or my uh, little bit of nausea and vomiting or um, some soreness of the arm um, unique to women and they are doing some research to this is that there, there can be some menstrual irregularities when you first get your vaccine, but uh, as time passes, all these things resolve. And then I understand that the CDC and the FDA both are very close to releasing uh, a recommendation that some high risk immunocompromised patients actually receive a third dose. So not only do we find this to be helpful for our normal population, but now we're recognizing that some of our most high risk patients would benefit from even a third dose of vaccine. That is correct. It's very important um, to make sure that there is adequate antibodies that are built towards the virus to make sure these high risk um, populations are, are protected. So thank you for joining us this morning. I'm Jim Lederer, the Chief Medical Officer here at Berkshire Medical Center. And with me this morning was Dr. Lauren Slater, who is the Department Chair of Obstetrics and Gynecology here at Berkshire Medical Center. If you have questions, if you have concerns, don't hesitate to contact your um, physician, or I think both of us would be happy to field questions if you have very specific questions related to vaccination and either pregnancy or fertility. So thank you again.